Oh, if you want, you can. You just don't vote because if, even if just I vote, it's enough. <laughs> yeah. Just like what happened. <laughs> this is a democracy. I demand for that. <laughs> this is a democracy. <laughs> oh god. All right. Definitely the huntsman. Definitely the sexiest woman alive. I don't. Oh. Oh, I think I, I think I'm guessing. I think I can guess this. Coyote man. Oh. oh okay. Yeah. Fine. All right. I said this. we have different preferences. That... I'm just kidding. No, I, I, <laughs> you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I said the sexiest woman. <laughs> that's true. Alright, coming to find you. Yeah, I'm here in the middle of the nowhere, or actually in the middle of everywhere. Okay, so let's learn some free running tricks. Alright, let's do it. And. Okay, well, where are you? Where are you? Uh. Oh, there you I are. I think I found you. Yeah, you're, you're the huntsman. Okay, so. There you okay, uh. The number one. Free running trick that we want to learn, but that in fact you already know. We're just gonna do it for showcasing purposes. It's uh, wall ejecting. So yeah, wall ejecting is this. You just run into a wall, and before reaching the top, you want to jump to the side. Okay, so one one note about uh, wall ejecting is that you can wall eject into any direction. Like uh, with your stick, you can adjust the angle. In any way you like, it doesn't have to be to the side or to the back. It can be like in how do you say like oblique angles. Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> that that's one thing you wanna keep in mind. And one thing you wanna often do is jump in the exact direction that your pursuer is is following you. So you you wanna jump like above their head uh, because that's like really useful. You can. You, you can really disorient them if they are chasing you and you wall eject and jump right right above their head So we're gonna test that like right now Follow me All right Okay, so uh, give me a little don't kill me by the way <laughs> I'm but, not gonna Yeah, but uh, get over here get over here Okay, lock on me. Okay, I'm gonna lock on you to expose you. Okay, now I want you to chase me like if you were going to kill me. But don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh. All right. <laughs> and okay. I can't kill the red coat. Okay. Oh, oh well. Well, first we want to trigger a chase. So run around until you trigger a chase. All right. Stay there. <laughs> okay. So. One, and remember, go at me as if you had the intent to kill, but do not kill me. <laughs> one, <laughs> one, two, three. All right. Come on, you can do this. Oh, jeez. You got it? Yeah. But you got the idea? And the thing is that you can do this repeatedly. Like, uh, you can, you can wall eject many times if you have many walls available close to you. You can like wall eject once and twice and thrice and yeah, as many times as you need. So like you disorient, disorient, whatever, <laughs> disorient them. And that, that's an easy way to get an escape or like if you want to use an ability in a more effective way. For example, if you want to use knives, but your pursuer is too close to you and you, you cannot knife them. Uh, you you want to do something like that. You want to run up a wall, wall eject to the side and... Uh, use the knives and stun them. That's the most basic way of doing it, though, because after you have more experience on 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 your free running, you can you can even just drop from the wall and you can naked stun them. If like if if they're really reckless and they are just chasing you like w without even thinking, you can just uh, do a wall drop and you can stun them. You remember that a wall drop is something like this. You know? Yeah. Oh, whoops. Yeah, for those that I don't remember or haven't seen the, f the first episode, to, f to wall drop, you just run up a wall and with in high profile and press the B or the circle button as soon as you can, and that does it. 
Okay, so, but yeah, that's a technique we'll cover sometime later. For now, we'll just go over with some of the basic uh, free running stuff. Okay, so actually, could we go? Could we go over uh, a, a drop stun, uh, oh. like an actual stun? Like if I locked you and just stun me? Oh, I. All right. I haven't actually seen it. So. Yeah, we we can try it. Uh, lock on me. Okay, I'm gonna. Well, I, no, no. Uh, you have to be my pursuer. If you, I mean, if you want, if you want me to do it. No, no, no. Ah. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna log you now. Yeah. I'll be honest, I am not like really good at it. Like the assassin players, they're like, they're gods at doing it. Yeah. But I'm not like really good, so I'm just gonna show you like the idea. But okay. I, I I'm not sure it, if it will even work. Okay, so let's do what we did before. Yeah, I'll just stand right here, and you just like you can take multiple attempts if you want. But oh no no no! If uh in that case, I know I'm gonna stun you, but. I mean, like in real gameplay, you will be mashing the, the the X button, so you will be trying to kill me. But the thing is that, like, if I do it properly, you will not get a kill prompt on me. You will not be able to kill me. So no, no matter how hard how hard you mash, it's not gonna work. I, you're, I, I'm gonna stun you anyway. But as uh, I said, but as I said, I I suck <laughs> at doing it. Yeah, okay. So basically, yeah, stand here. So you see the idea. The idea is you want to have your pursuer locked before you go to the wall because if you don't have a lock, it's not gonna work. But if you have the lock, then you do. You do. Uh, uh, okay, wait. Okay, here it goes. Basically, that's what that's what you want to do. I don't know if you saw the the kill prompt on me when I dropped, but if I had done it properly, which I doubt I did. Uh. Uh. You wouldn't see it and it also works in other ways like it works by doing that or you can uh, Just drop like this like after you reach the top Im imagine that I had locked you if I did uh, Something like this. I got to the top and drop like that It also works. So what, what? Hold on drop down. I want to see if this works First blood. Ah! Of course it works. Oh wait. <laughs> of course it works, except that you killed me. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't want to kill you though. <laughs> ah! I just killed the red coat. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, so yeah, like that's the idea, and yeah, you can do it. Uh, I'm gonna lock you, so I am your pursuer. Yeah, now you can do it. Your target has exposed you. Huh. Let me see if I see the the, the kill. No, uh, you wanna you wanna be mashing square as you drop, and you wanna drop uh, uh, and immediately stun me, you know. But you you don't you could do it like that, but I think it's more effective if you, if you do it like this. Or you know the other way, uh, dropping uh, using a wall drop, as I said before. Yeah. You have done. Oh, it worked. You did it properly. Nice. There you did it All properly right. because I saw that uh, the kill prompt it it really didn't show up. Maybe ha if I had been mashing the the X button, I might have killed you because of lag. But when yeah. it, when it comes to the way you performed it, I think you did it you did it properly. Well, I have a good teacher, so thank you. <laughs> okay, so uh, but there is something really important that I want to show you, and you probably have seen it, but just follow me so I teach so I teach you what I want. All right. Okay, so another thing that you want to be really good at doing is uh, instant drop. So an instant drop is when you climb up to a ledge, and as soon as you reach the as you reach the top, you drop back into grab kill position. So it's something like this. Do you see what I just did? Yeah. Oh, I failed. <laughs> yeah, you don't wanna. Oops. Yeah, you you wanna be like really fast. You wanna do it like this. And in fact, you can do it like repeatedly. Look, look at me right now. Yeah. Oh wow. Ah. So you just press A and then B. Ah. <laughs> Get it eventually. <laughs> there we go. No, oh, uh, I did it. No, you didn't. Uh, yeah, you almost got, I almost got it there. 
Uh, let me just explain how you do it because you're probably. You just have to go like very fast, A. Eh? No, no. Oh, no. Wait. So basically, what you do is you climb to the top, right? Did you like, see that? Yeah. I and think I did it. When you get to the top, you want to press back and X to perform to perform the drop. Okay, so a drop is this. All right. Yeah. So the A. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and also like after, as soon as your character begins climbing, you want to start right pressing here. back and X so that the the drop comes immediately after you reach the top and it doesn't take like any time because you, you don't want to do it like this you don't want to get to the top and then drop no 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 you want to get to the top and immediately drop oh there you did it kind of i wasn't really paying attention but i guess it's five seconds left can i do it i did it <laughs> oh, I, I can't i can't <laughs> oh, Don't worry, we have a whole next episode for this. <laughs> oh, but I was so uh, I was looking forward to actually do it successfully. Well, I managed to do it like twice, but I just fell off because I was pretty much spamming the B button. Yeah, we're gonna go practice in, in the next one in a lower wall because.